Hi, in this session I am going to show you how to retain uh, values of value A and B. Uh, for example, right now if I say 5 and 4 and add it, uh, it, it gives me the result but it, the values are lost. Uh, I want to retain these values of value A and B as well as um, the value of the select option over here. So to do that, uh, we'll have to do some code changes in a form. So now a value A and value B is available in a post um, global variable. So we can just add this uh, into the form input tag. So the value will be PHP. So this is PHP, so echo control V like so and we do the same thing for value B and we change this to value B. Now there is a problem with this um, input. Um, it will throw up errors in, in our input boxes because this value is only available once the submit button is po uh, pressed and the form is posted. Uh, let me show it to you. Uh, I have my um, display errors um, disabled so let me just enable them. Display errors is one so this is um, a INI setting that is set to zero by default uh, in my uh, INI file. So I'm overriding this in my script and saying show give me all the errors. So let me just refresh it and here you see a lot of notices. Let me copy that notice and let's, let me paste it at the bottom of the file. So what's, what it's telling me is value A is undefined. That's because value A is only available uh, in the submitted script. So to get rid of that, we need to define these values before we go into the submitted form loop. So we set it to empty. Similarly, we'll set um, value B to empty and the result uh, which holds the result of two numbers to empty as well. So now we should be able to get rid of the errors of and, and we should be able to retain the values three and four. There you go. We are retaining the values now, uh, but we won't be able to retain this. So to do that, we'll have to add a small script over here. So operator by default, it's plus. So basically what we are doing, we are setting the default values. Uh, now we have set uh, the default to be plus. So let's set it to plus first and then uh, once we go into that loop um, we change that value to whatever is posted. So now we can use it in a select option options. So this is a little bit different than this one's um, input, input uh, elements uh, let's us to directly paste the values in the value attribute whereas for options uh, select options it's a little bit different so for that you have to do you have to use a if if operator and this is a um, e equal to sign uh, which is double equal to's uh, if, if it is single equal to then it will assign 
a value to this variable whereas this will compare the left and left operand and the right operand so operator is um, a value which holds all the signs so we are checking if it is equal to plus if it is equal to plus then you are saying echo selected so this will only work if 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 the operator is a plus sign so we have to do this for every other option like so then change this to a minus change this to asterisk change this to x I added this um, in my previous video I had shown you how to use switch um, cases on uh, switch co cases for um, single case I mean um, case asterisk and case x sharing the same uh, code over here so I before the video I had changed this so just take a note of it so this is multiplication and this is division so let's go back and see if we are able to retain the values let's do a um, subtraction yeah uh, we are able to retain the select options now um, so I think that's that's it in this video um, uh, if, if you are finding this videos uh, useful then please like or subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video thank you for watching